Greetings everyone, this is P and today I'm gonna make a short tutorial and show you how to build a very simple and basic Call of Duty 4 single player map. Now, assuming you have Call of Duty 4 and its mod tools installed, I want you to open the map editor. Okay, so this is the map editor interface of Call of Duty 4. And we have the 2D uh, view of our map here, the 3D view of our map here, and our textures over here. I will not teach you how to control, how to use camera control in the uh, editor. So let's assume you know all that, and I will go right in the uh, main part of the of making the map. Now. First thing I'm gonna do is to drag a first surface over here. Let's say that this will be our ground, the ground of our map. Now let's go and texture it properly. I will go to textures, usage, tools. I will click this uh, texture, which is a very basic material for making a map before texturing it. So you can use this to build your map structure and when you feel you're ready, you can te start texturing with uh, actual textures. Now I'm gonna make some walls around this brush, so I'm gonna clone the first one, get some height over there, then I'm gonna clone it again, put over here and all the way around. So now we have a very small room for an example map for our player for the first test. Now let's te go texture it. Textures usage floor. Let's put this nice wood texture on the floor and this blue texture for our walls. Anyway, now the things we need to have in our map so for us to be able to play it in game are the following. First of all, let's make our, our player spawn by right clicking on the 2D grid. We go to Info, Player Start. Now, we will have to make sure that this spawn is just a little bit higher from the ground. Let's make sure it's not touching the ground like this. And then we're gonna have to rotate it, which will uh, tell where the player will look when he will spawn. In this case, it's right in front of this way. Alright, so this is where our player is going to start when we will begin the map. Now we need some uh, reflection probes. Right click on the 2D grid and reflection probe. Reflection probes are uh, responsible for reflections on uh, various uh, surfaces in the map, whether it's weapons or glasses or whatever. We need uh, just a few of them in some main areas in our map for the map to work properly. Uh, next step, we're gonna go to Textures Usage Tools and we're gonna find this texture, which is Light Grid Volume. It is very important that we put this uh, brush all the way in our map and we have to make sure it covers uh, all the areas that the, that the player can go. Let me just filter it like this. So here we have a light grid volume which will help in some lighting issues. And that's mostly all of it. That's mostly all we have to have from up to begin. Except the sky. We don't have a sky yet, as you can see. In this case, I will pick the um, let me see the airplane sky airplane there it is all right so I'm gonna create the, a huge brush around the map like that and this will represent the uh, sky but I will have to hollow it first with this pattern. Then I am going to apply the texture like this, and there we have our skybox. Filtering it back, this is our sky for the mission. 
let me get this light green away so this is going to be a very small example map for us to see how to set up a first single player map now if we compile the map and test it in game we will notice that there will be uh, no lightning and everything will be black and dark we won't be able to see anything uh, what we need to do about this is to add some uh, world spawn settings world spawn settings can be added in two ways first way we can add world spawn settings is through the editor by selecting either our skybox or our or some kind of brush that doesn't uh, match any script and titles and we can add some keys and values depending on the light settings we have for each skybox there are uh, different lighting settings for each skybox and they can be all found in the link I will link you right now here copied from the site I linked you and I will have to add them in the map like this now I will have to clip uh, to select my uh, skybox in order to select a wall spawn entity and I'm gonna start adding each key and value to this entity all right once this is done we uh, we have our lighting settings for our map ready and we can start compiling our map all right let's save our map minimize the editor and open our compile tools call gt4 compile tools i will select our map which is test video one you can see i have many maps around here and since we don't have any paths around we can we're going to uh, uncheck this and in light options, since it's our first testing uh, compile, we, we are going to uncheck extra and click fast, verbose and model shadow. Those are what you have to have in your testing compiles. When your map is ready for main release and you want your light settings to be in high quality, you will have to uncheck everything else and keep extra checked. Anyway, let's go and start compiling our map this window will pop up and we'll start compiling the map do all the lighting you see it finished very fast since our map is very small now we're going to compile the reflections you should compile reflections uh, every uh, time you add or remove some reflection probes that's what i suggest so you will save your time without compiling reflections all the time there you can see a first preview for map in the compile reflections part alright then we will have to build our fast file which is our playable file of the map but first of all we need to have a script for our map a very basic script which is always needed for a single player map to be able to play it. now in this uh, directory you will have to create a text file name it exactly as the file name of the map which in this case is test video one and change the uh, format the file format the file extension actually to gsc which is the game script for call of duty we're going to open this file and what we need to have here is just this this small tiny code so there we have it that's all we need to have for the map to run let's close all of this and compile our fast file now this uh, is the zone file the zone file is responsible for telling the game what files to load in the fast file so for it to play normally you can update the zone file by clicking this and this is what your maps zone file already have 
and this is what is missing let's just ignore this for now all right in our first run we will keep developer on cheats always on of course since it's all about testing and do our first test drive of the map all right let me just so we see that mp5 is missing from the map this is because it is not uh, defined or included in the zone file it has to be defined or included in the zone file and if you have developer on any missing assets will be will appear in the left side column of this file you simply have to copy and paste it here and then you will have to click save okay then rebuild fast file so the zone file loads the mp5 or any other missing assets you added in the fast file get rid of that and let's test it again let's see all right this is what you see here is a red thing on my face yes and the weapon floating around this is normal because we don't have any hands for the player to use the guns or display any animations for the weapon or the melee attack or anything uh, simply because we don't have it here in our zone file we follow the exact same steps copying and pasting this over here which is the hands that the player will use okay fast file and Let's test it again to see if it's all fine. And there we have it. Everything runs smoothly, as you can see. We have the sky, we have the lights. It's a bit dark though. I didn't... I wasn't expecting that. But it's all fine. You can move around. You can use your weapon. You can see all the things you made using brushes or whatever and that's all that's all you need to know how on how to make this very basic map those are the first steps you need to follow thanks for watching excuse my awkward accent or presentation thanks for watching again see you next time